A thief crouches down to hide, waiting to strike, patiently watching a homeowner go in and out of his house in a cul-de-sac in Burien. It's 9 a.m. on a Friday morning, and he's about to seriously ruin Scott Badgley's day. Just infuriating, as he was 15, 20 feet away from me the entire time and didn't even, didn't even see it. When Scott goes inside to get his stuff to leave, this creep wanders around the front of his home. Since I had just walked in, him walking up, it was the same sensor going off saying someone's in your driveway. The crook could care less about the surveillance cameras. He climbs into the SUV where Scott had just tossed his wallet in the center console. My driver's license in there, my VA cards in there, my insurance cards in there, my Costco cards in there, all my credit cards are in there, my business account cards are in there. Plus his cash and credit cards all gone in 40 seconds as the suspect takes off running with Scott's wallet and jumps into this white 1995 Honda. It had been stolen three and a half hours earlier in West Seattle. A second suspect caught on camera at a local casino using one of Scott's stolen cards. Now Burian police are trying to identify both of them. I would classify this as a crime of opportunity. So keep your head on a swivel. Predators like this are always looking for new prey.